Well, hey guys, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Uh, I just uh, opened up this box. This is a 100 watt uh, adjustable mount solar panel. Uh, this is made by Top Solar, and I got two of these uh, because uh, I liked the mount system that it showed in the picture. So I'm hoping the mount system will work because it's adjustable so you can adjust these panels uh, so that they can be at a different angle to get the best sun. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to replace a couple of my older uh, panels uh, that are not monocrystalline. This is a monocrystalline panel, and you'll see the difference in size when I take them outside and show you. Uh, and I'm going to put these up on my porch roof uh, to replace those big panels I've got just propped up against my cabin. And uh, this comes with, this is a kit, and it comes with the panel with the adjustable mounts, and it comes with the, uh, I think, 15 feet of wire uh, from the panel to your controller. It comes with a controller. The controller is a PWM controller. I am probably not going to use the PWM controller because I have an MPPT controller uh, that will get about 15% more power out of the panels. Uh, it also includes wires for the from the controller to the battery. So that's a pretty good kit uh, at a reasonable price. So I thought I would show you this because it may be something the rest of you are interested in. Okay, so let's see what's in this bag of goodies that comes with that top solar uh, solar panel kit, MC4 connectors, okay that's the battery cable, cable that goes from the controller to the battery, looks kind of small, uh, but uh, if it's 8 gauge I'll look on it, see what it says here, uh, just says positive, doesn't say, that does not look like uh, 8 gauge, it looks like maybe 12 gauge wire, I usually like to use 8 gauge wire to my batteries, uh, but it, it's, it would still work for just a small kit. And then again, those look like 12 gauge probably, uh, MC4, and I think that's supposed to be 15 feet. We'll have to see how long it is. Comes with the uh, black and the red. There's the battery connector. There's the uh, panel connectors. I'm assuming that's the controller. It comes with uh, mounting bolts, uh, different styles of mounting bolts it looks like uh, for your different roof types. And uh, I'm probably going to be using uh, heavy-duty screws instead of the bolts for my system uh, but they do include the wing nuts and the bolts so there's that and then I'm guessing these are the mounting brackets and it comes with an instruction manual so set that out of the way and uh, the mounting brackets go on the sides and look like this and then these are just these are adjustable so you can put you put uh, two on the panel and then mount two to the uh, whatever your roof structure or you could mount this to a board. You could do a ground mount on some two by six lumber or something like that. And then they rotate. OK, so I got these mounting brackets out. And the first thing that I noticed is the solar panels frames do not come with the pre-drilled holes for these mounts. All right. So you're going to have to drill. Uh, a couple of holes in order to mount these. It's not a big deal, uh, but if they're going to sell it as a kit, it, it should come with pre-drilled holes so you can just put it together. It is a kit, but it is a kit that you will have to drill in order to use these mounting brackets. They also don't give you the instructions for these mounting brackets. They give you some for some L-shaped brackets that are not these. So it took me a while to kind of figure out what I was doing here, so I'll just to save you some time, uh, what I did is I moved you have to find the correct bracket, put it on the side like this. It will extend down below the panel, okay? Uh, and what I did is I matched it up. There is a slot right here, and I just matched the bottom of this uh, piece here with that slot, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. That way they are both exactly the same on the mount. Now, after you do that, you'll need to drill through it. I used my drill, and uh, what I did is I put this piece on it first. I put this piece on the frame, measured out exactly where I wanted it, then I took a pen and I marked my two holes that I needed to drill. Then I used a small drill bit uh, to go through it first to make a hole, and then I used the bigger drill bit, uh, which is probably like a quarter inch drill bit, uh, to make the holes for the bolts so the holes would go through. Once you do that, it goes through. It's aluminum, so it drills fast. Once you go through that, then it's solid, okay? Then your other mounting bracket, and you got to make sure you get these so that they're actually on the correct size here. As you can see, there are holes. There are, are There's a mounting hole or, or a base hole, and then there's three holes up here for your adjustment. There's a mounting hole here, and then there's three holes here for your adjustment. So this bracket here goes on top of it, 
and it will have a bolt through here, which I'll show you in a minute. It'll have a bolt through here, and then you have another bolt up here so you can slide and adjust this, okay? So you can slide it out so that it'll be completely horizontal, or you can slide it all the way up so that it'd be at a uh, much shorter angle, almost like a 10 degree angle. So you've got three different uh, uh, mounting holes down here, or uh, tilt holes, I would call these, adjustment holes so that you can adjust this panel. So I'll go ahead and put the bolts in here just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. So I'm going to be setting mine almost flat. So I'm going to set mine to an angle about like so. And that bolt goes through there. A washer. So that bolt goes through there and a washer and a wing nut. Tighten those down. All right. And then you just need to do the same thing to the other side. Tighten those all up good. And then you will mount this. This has holes. And then this has holes, as you can see down here. And when we get this up on the roof, I will need to uh, drill some holes. Or I'm going to use screws and washers and go through these into my uh, porch roof up here. And so that will mount it. And then during, in the wintertime, my sun is low. And so it will catch the, pa the panel as it's almost perpendicular or horizontal. Uh, to the roof and that also keeps the snow off of it uh, and then in summer it will be much higher and so I will change these mounts just simply undo these bolts this bolt here is the only one I'll have to undo move it up and change the angle on this for summer all right it's I like the mount system they should have drilled pre-drilled the holes though for this frame okay that a lot of people don't have drills and things drills and drill bits and may not have the skills they want to be drilling in this so just be aware you're going to have to drill some holes if you do this mounting system Okay, so here you can see how the mounting brackets go on these. Uh, so here you can see how the mounting brackets go on these. And as you can see, you can adjust this by pulling, by just moving one bolt on each side. Uh, you can adjust this so that it lays all the way down flat, or you can tip it all the way up. I'm going to leave it at this angle here for winter. Uh, that way the snow will just flow right off it. I won't have to clean the panels off. And in low sunlight, this will get plenty of sunlight on it from this direction. 